Hi to everyone. Today we want to explain to you about the bioremediation, pollution compounds, pollution, water treatment process, and the use of bioremediation in pollution and water treatment. Okay, so what is bioremediation? It is the branch of biotechnology which deals with the methods of solving environmental problems. It also plays a vital role in cleaning the environment from pollutants and contaminants by using the microorganisms and fungi. How does bioremediation work? For the process of bioremediation, it is necessary that microorganisms should be healthy and active so that can perform their duty efficiently. What is pollution? Pollution is the harm that results because of the presence of a substance of substances where they would not normally be found or because they are present in larger than normal quantities. Polluting substances may occur as a solid, liquid or gas. The consequence of pollution may be direct through the toxic effect of a substance, but now we don't want to know about it. So if we return to the main idea of pollution, we will find the pollution compounds. What is a pollution compound? The first thing that we thought is that the chemical compounds that pollute our planet, and especially the atmosphere, are the chlorofluorocarbon. If you don't know it, now you have learned something extra. But here is the question. Why would bacteria help us to clean our mess? Of course that we need to give if we want to receive. And we don't want bacteria to be bad with us or feel devaluated. Do we? No. And here is when we apply the biostimulation. Great words, huh? Wait, 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 a little bacteria. That's not a bad word. Let me explain to everyone. Biostimulation is a method in which bacteria are motivated to start the process of bioremediation. In this method, first, the experts release nutrients and other important substances in the soil, where there is need of removing the contaminants. Is that clear? No? Okay, I'm going to biostimulate you little bacteria, so you understand me. There you are! It's a gummy! Yum, 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 yum! Delicious! Bioremediation in the water treatment The process of producing drinking water from wastewater has been made possible by biological treatment known as bioremediation. This consists of introducing microorganisms to the pre-treated wastewater storage tanks, where they work away until contaminants are completely removed. In a non-polluted environment, bacteria, fungi, protists, and other microorganisms are constantly at work breaking down organic matter. What would occur if an organic pollutant, such as oil, contaminated this environment? Some of the microorganisms will die, while others, capable of eating the organic pollution, will survive. Bioremediation works by providing these pollution-eating organisms with fertilizers, oxygen, and other conditions that encourage their rapid growth. These organisms will be able to break down the organic pollutant at a correspondingly faster rate. In fact, Bioremediation is often used to help clean up oil spills. Water treatment processes. Clean and safe water is vital for everyday life. Water is essential for health, hygiene, and the productivity of our community. The water treatment process may vary slightly at different locations depending on the technology of the plant and the water it needs to process. But the basic principles are largely the same. This section describes the standard water treatment processes. Coagulation or flocculation. During coagulation, liquid aluminum sulfate or polymer is added to untreated water. When mixed with the water, this causes the tiny particles of dirt in the water to stick together or coagulate. Next, 
groups of dirt particles stick together to form larger, heavier particles called flux, which are easier to remove by settling or filtration. Sedimentation As the water and the flux particles progress through the treatment process, they move into sedimentation basins where the water moves slowly, causing the heavy flux particles to settle to the bottom. Flux which collects on the bottom of the basin is called sludge and is piped to dry on lagoons. In direct filtration, the sedimentation step is not included and the flux is removed by filtration only. Filtration Water flows through a filter designed to remove particles in the water. The filters are made of layers of sand and gravel, and in some cases crushed anthracite. Filtration collects the suspended impurities in water and enhances the effectiveness of disinfection. The filters are routinely cleaned by backwashing. Disinfection Water is disinfected before it enters the distribution system to ensure that any disease-causing bacteria, viruses, and parasites are destroyed. Chlorine is used because it is a very effective disinfectant, and residual concentrations can be maintained to guard against possible biological contamination in the water distribution system. And the last step that sometimes is applied in the process of the treatment of water is ozone. Ozone is super extra charged oxygen that kills every virus, bacteria, fungi, germ, or any microorganism that may live in the water. 